Here we are, December 28th, right after winter solstice, still in it, everything's still sleeping. Um, winter crops actually creep along a little bit and keep growing just a little throughout this phase that's about a month long and then slowly, slowly things start growing in January and a big question that we have is how do we keep harvesting through this time? How do we have like fresh winter salads and soups and things like that? And we want to make it easy for you. So we're going to start out with the long season stuff that you want nice and big and ready to harvest throughout the time where things are dormant because they won't be growing, but you'll be harvesting. So you want lots to harvest. <laughs> um, so we've got dinosaur kale here. And this is so nice in winter soups. A lot of people like it in salads. And it does keep growing, but very slowly. We've also got fennel. So this is my second harvest on this fennel. So it, it makes smaller bulbs, but it's so nice in winter salads. I just love fennel in the winter. And it sweetens up when it gets a little cool. Kohlrabi, which isn't quite ready, but it will be as soon as spring starts coming. Then we've got leeks. These really you want to get started in like February. And they're so nice in the winter for winter suits and such. So we have nice, big, beautiful leeks. Outer layer off, and there is a gorgeous winter soup. We've got parsley, of course. When everybody's craving parsley or something green, it makes such a nice garnish, but also salads throughout the whole winter. And then over here. We've got collards. This is my pet collard. <laughs> Obviously there's a lot of harvesting that can come off this plant, but this is wonderful in the winter. Of course, a million ways you could cook this. And over here, we have romaine lettuces. Right behind them, some more kohlrabi and some more chard. Chard is a great winter vegetable. It practically can't freeze, a lot like your kales and you want to get it started in the spring because you're going to get a lot more out of it through your entire winter. Over here we've got a broccoli we've long since harvested but I'm getting side shoots all winter long so this makes an amazing dinner. Lots and lots of side shoots depends on the variety you grow but uh, you can pick tons of these. And we are gonna go over to the 15 and show you a little bit more. So we've got Siberian kale here. This is absolutely one of my favorites. It actually keeps growing. And it is the best salad kale in the whole world. If you haven't tried it, please buy seeds and be the happiest person ever. This is such a mild, very cold, hearty kale. And like I said, awesome for raw eating. Here we are in the 33. 
and we've got a few extra goodies in here to share. We got some Russian kale here, definitely a staple in the winter. And you know, all these things just, they're at their peak of flavor now. They're their sweetest, they're very tastiest. So we got Russian kale, we've got chard, which like I said, another amazing, super hearty winter crop. And for salads back here, we've got sorrel. These, this is that amazing lemony flavor everybody wants in the winter. And it just grows and grows. I started this in the spring and it makes amazing soup, the famous French sorrel soup, but also in salads, in practically everything. It's just that gorgeous lemony flavor. So we've also got turnips. These are somewhere between a short season and a long season. So I'm just gonna put them in this category. Turnips are amazing in the winter. Of course you can pick them young and plant them late in the summer, maybe fall. But uh, these are favorites for just everything. Soups, salads, just deliciousness. Put that down for a second. And how do I like my turnips? I like them with celeriac. This is definitely a long season. This takes definitely starting in February and finishing now. And this is amazing in winter soups. It's so delicious and so hearty. So if you're not familiar with celeriac, grow it in your dome. It's delicious. So then we've got more fennels, more broccolis, lots of collards in here. And we've also got, <laughs> we've also got Italian parsley, which is very, very delicious. I definitely recommend that. These are all long season crops that you wanna be growing in the winter. So now I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about short season crops. There's not as many of them, but they're worth it. They're super delicious. Right here, you know it, radishes. So nice in the winter, so refreshing on a salad. So we've got radishes, We've got arugula, lettuce, short season crops that you can start in October, but you don't wanna start them too late because if you start them close to the winter solstice, then you're not gonna get germination and they won't be able to grow enough for you to harvest when you want them now in December. So definitely start them like maybe beginning of October-ish, depending on where you're at, maybe sooner if you're like in Alaska, Canada, maybe a little later if you're closer to the equator. So we hope this makes it super easy for you and that you have a huge variety and a delicious winter crop in your dome and enjoy.